Welcome to the latest edition of Ash World Media. I'm Adam Nilsson. And I'm Ileana Garcia. In today's show, we'll watch some movie trailers, see forensic students in action, and find out Shepard's fairy gifts, and so much more. So let's get started. On December 11th, the digital media crew took a field trip to the Palos Heights Channel 4 TV studio to see how professional studio runs and how it is to work in one. The advanced media production class traveled to Palos Heights TV on November 14th. The goal was to see how professional studio runs. The crew had to film the anchoring of their newscast. Here is Paulina to tell us what the crew did at Palos Heights TV. Experience here being today with uh, Palos Heights TV. I would, uh, so today what I did was that I was an anchor, and I did it with Michael, of course. And I think what I obviously knew um, how a prompter works. So basically, if no one doesn't know what that is, it's like in a camera, it's kind of like mirrored device onto the camera and you have to like read into the camera what I always thought was like oh like all these like news anchors that you see like on the news like literally like a channel nine even um how they like read Followed by Dave talking about how we saw us as a whole manage the studio you know for me personally as a former teacher I, I want to do start by saying that I loved watching you all and, and your classmates I loved watching everybody work together uh, I was talking with your teacher about it was nice to watch the way you interacted and coordinated and problem solved and were concerned about the quality and, uh, you know, the ultimate product you're trying to, you know, create. Uh, it reminded me, it reminded me of teaching, so I missed that part of it. And so watching you all, uh, you know, my number one hope is that you had a great experience here and that also it can help you in some way in the future. The field trip has inspired me to maybe take a career path in broadcasting or anchoring itself. Reporting for Astro World Media, I'm Michael Whitler. This was a great opportunity for the students as it was hands-on experience and they were able to work together to finish their newscasts. There's a certain magic of theater at Shepard. The fall play was put on last month and to comment on it more, here's Tommy. On November 9th, the drama department opened Eurydice by Sarah Rawl. We witnessed the magic of theater here at Shepard. Director Miss Lizio had more to say about the wonders of putting on the play. There is a magical moment in the middle of Tech Week when tensions are high and everybody is stressed out. There's this one moment when everything magically comes together. Like the cast, they find their groove. Tech finds their groove. All of the elements come together and we just all of a sudden have all of these pieces fitting together and it becomes a show. So I love that part of it. She further comments on the exciting new future for the new Fine Arts Center coming soon. Um, well, I'm really looking forward to the new theater that we're going to get starting next year. So um, while I'm not quite sure what fall play is going to look like next year, I know we've got big, big plans for this new theater. So much emotion was captured during the production. Much thanks to Miss Lizio and the cast and crew of Eurydice. Wow, I was really moved by the performance. Thanks to Ms. Lizio for, their work, for her work on the play. Can't wait for next year's production. Forensic classes here at Shepard have taken a bold leap into reality as they dive into live crime scenes. Bridging the gap between theory and practicality, here is Spencer on the scene. Hi, reporting for Astral World Media, I'm Spencer Harth. We take you to the forefront of education at Shepard High School. Forget traditional classrooms, the forensics class is turning theory into reality. Outdoors and hands-on, these students are applying textbook knowledge to solve simulated crimes. From fingerprint analysis to blood splatter interpretation, they're mastering the art of forensic science. The simulated crime scenes include everything from burglaries to staged homicides, providing a diverse range of challenge to sharpen their investigative skills. I asked some students of the class whether or not this hands-on approach to forensics proved to be helpful or not. Yeah, being outside and doing it hands-on is better in the classroom because it helps me understand the process they go through when documenting crime scenes. Uh, learning forensics outside is definitely, the hands-on stuff is a much better way to learn it. I think uh, doing it in a classroom doesn't really get the full idea of it across as much as this does. I also asked the teacher of forensics class her input on the class today. Knowing something and doing something are very different. Uh, and so just because you can recognize a type of photo does not mean you can take that photo. And so um, I, I think that one of the things that's really important in forensics is the application of knowledge, not just knowing it, but being able to also do it. So this provides them the opportunity to show me what they can do, not just what they know. As the sun sets on a day of real world learning, Shepherd High School is shaping the next generation of crime scene investigators. Astro World Media, back to you. 
The next generation of crime scene detectives is looking really sharp and prepared. Good work out there, detectives. I've heard the students in Ms. Polini's class have been working on some movie trailers. Let's check out what's been going on behind the scenes. Reporting for Asheroad Media, I'm Paulina, and today we'll be looking at the students of Ms. Polini's class who were given the task of writing, directing, and filming their very own movie trailers. Hi, my name is Paulina Karkowska. I'm Daniela Ramirez Prado. And I'm Seda Diab, and we're all juniors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First, we asked if they dealt with any <laughs> obstacles in the process. I would definitely say scheduling. Oh, yeah. And the availability sure. for yeah. everyone. It's because everyone has different schedules. Yes. You know, we all work. We all have after school Around activities. Yes. yes, we all have school. a whole life. Yeah. Yeah. Just availability and like whatever is easier at the moment. Yeah. Another question we had was what they enjoyed while creating their project. Um, I think my favorite part was definitely actually filming it and seeing like our brainstorming and our whole like ideas that we brought to the table and all like this like two weeks planning and actually filming it and seeing it in real life. Yeah, I, I agree. Like it, like the whole ideas that we had in our head that started out with like a bunch of different ideas than what we like originally oh, went with. Um, it just like comes to life and it's cool to see that all like play out. <laughs> and we all had like the same vision of like horror and uh, uh, Carrie, so it was fun seeing everyone's perspective of the films yeah. and how they turned out. Wow, those trailers looked exciting. Great work, guys. Have you ever wondered what Shepard's students and staff wanted for this holiday season? I hit the lunchroom to answer this question. Reporting for Asheroll Media, it's Adam Nilsson. Today, I'm going to find out Shepard's most wanted gifts for this holiday season. Come with me to find out. It's world peace. New chef's knife. Red Range Rover. A puppy. For peace and happiness throughout the world. Like some new clothes. I, I love it. Uh, I skateboard. I would love a skateboard. An iPhone 15. I actually want a surfboard. I would really want a pair of Uggs. The best gift I could get for the holiday season is a car. A new pair of Uggs slippers. To be honest, just spending time with family. A lot of us have been busy a lot, so this is going to be the first time in the year. So, family. Clothes. Money. New Spider-Man 2. Family time. Shoes. A new baseball bat. New gym shoes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something new from a staff member, student, or teacher that you like. And have a great holiday. If you were wondering, something I want for the holidays is money. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned a gift idea for a staff member, student, or a gift for me, your favorite anchor. And that's the latest Shepherd news from Astro Media. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and YouTube to stay informed. And thank you to Payless Heights TV for letting us use their studio. Have a spectacular day and great holidays.